Hello, friends. <laughs> welcome or welcome back to Shadow Play Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here today, friends. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Make yourselves at home. There is plenty of content to catch up on. And if you're returning, well, friends, I tell you all the time, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for coming back and spending more of your precious time with me here on the channel. You guys know what's up. I love the vibes. I love hanging out with you. And it's also my hope that you enjoy your time while you're here. Um, friends, let's get to it. Today, we're going to be looking into what's the next chapter in your love life. So, um, you know, you just feel free to take the messages as they resonate. Um, you never know who else is watching, what their circumstances are, and why they're watching. So, you know, if something is triggering you or it sounds like something that's already happened, um, you know, you could very well be at a different point of the timeline or it's just not your reading today. And it's okay. That does happen. Um, but you guys know what to do. We have three groups to choose from. And before we go into the group selection, I do want to take a moment to just admire these beautiful handmade um, bookmarks that I picked up this weekend by a local artist. Her name is Rosie and she is just uh, the sweetest thing. Um, hopefully you guys can see in the close up shot, but these are actually all hand drawn and painted. And it took so much willpower not to buy up everything that she had um, at her table when I met her. Um, but I did want to pick these up for our channel because I just thought that they're, they they make me happy. I hope they make you guys happy too. Um, but you guys know I love Betty Boop. Um, but yeah, if you guys, um, you know, want to choose by the group or the timestamp or the artwork, that's totally up to you. But um, if you're interested in these, Rosie's info is linked down below. Um, all right. So as always, friends, you guys know what to do. We have group number one, group number two, and group number three. Whenever you're ready, I'll meet you at your reading. Hello, my group number ones. <laughs> if you picked this Betty bookmark, then welcome to your reading, friends. Um, I added roses to our table today. I, after I filmed the intro, I looked over and I was like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot that I bought those yesterday. Um, so I brought two of them over here because I was like, you know what? We are going to add sweetness and gentleness and love to today's reading. We are going to be looking into what's the next chapter in your love life. Friends, it's super important for you guys to take the messages as they pertain to your situation and also um, what resonates to you. If something is triggering you or if it actually sounds like something like you've already been going through or something from the past, that just means you're probably at a different point of the timeline than um, the majority of the people that pick the same group as you. Um, so yeah, just take what resonates, leave the rest. We are going to be uh, beginning this reading by looking into your current energy in, in love um, and seeing what's going on there. This part of the reading should help you connect to this group. And then um, we'll be moving into what's this next chapter in your love life. All right, my group number ones, let's get to it. Thank you for joining me here, my babies. All right, a deep collective breath. Let's get to it. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for the collective and my group number ones. My group number ones, please, Spirit. My group number ones, what's their current energy in love? What's going on with them? How will they know that this is their group? How will they know this is their reading today? Messages for my group number ones. What's their current energy in love? How will they know this is their group? Messages for my group number ones. What's their current energy? Thank you, Spirit. What's their current energy in their love life? What's going on? What can we know? What can you tell us? Messages for my group number ones. You guys are working hard. I feel like right now maybe your work or getting yourself on track, or you're focused on something. Maybe you've been working on yourself, and you're like, this shit's exhausting. Like, when is it my time, you know? Maybe you, some of you guys are trying to meet some kind of deadline. So we have, um, we have high numbers here. We have high numbers. No, we have two nines and an eight. So yeah, maybe right now what you're focused on, it's, it's keeping you from either getting something that you want or right now you're having to do what you know you need to do even though it's not what you want to, if that makes sense. You're like, I'm doing it because I know it's for the best. I need to do this even though it's not what I want. And I think you guys are, you know, you guys might be feeling tired or 
you're kind of feeling over it and you're just like, oh, I'm just going to focus on what I can control, which for some of you, again, it might be a, your job or a deadline you're trying to meet or something that you're focused on. So right now you're like, I don't have time for that or I'm kind of over it. We have the Ten of Cups. You guys could be, um, yeah, you guys could be balancing family for some of you. Or you're not dedicating enough time or energy into kind of really tapping into what's going to make you happy. Again, there's this energy of, I'm just going to keep my head down and get through this. So <laughs> let's just weather the, weather the phase or weather the storm for some of you. Why the Nine of Wands, please? Messages. Oh, shit. Oh, no. We had flippas. Oh, it was like a quarter of the deck. Let's see if anything else did. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. Page of Swords in reverse. So for some of you, maybe um, you're taking a break from social media or you're realizing who you need to um, distance yourself from, or maybe you're starting to realize that there was, uh, no, it's, it, there's a lack of communication. Maybe some of you are feeling like I am, I haven't heard from so-and-so in forever. Like maybe you're kind of feeling feeling the weight of that to some degree. It, it doesn't feel like right now you either have too much time or maybe energy or tolerance or desire to, to be doing too much outside of whatever this Eight of Pentacles is for you. Why the Nine of Wands, please? To a certain, yeah, you guys are working on some kind of goal or you guys are being seen. Maybe you're being recognized or you're working on your mental health. You're maybe uh, working on a vision board. Yeah, I, I got that for some of you. You're working on your healing. Um, I For those of you that you're working to like accomplish something, like again, a, a deadline or a project or um, maybe you have a lifestyle change or a fitness goal, whatever it is that you're focused on. Um, if you want to get out there and, um, be seen, it's going it's a good time. Um, okay. So super random. <laughs> That's so weird that we're getting all these messages regarding work. Um, some of you are being encouraged to film your process or document your process. I don't know what that means, but it's going to be important. Um, looking back, I don't know what that means. Um, okay, let's move forward. That's a random side note. Oh shit, bitch. Someone may, might, might make a documentary, um, one day that you might be a part of, or your work might be a part of, or maybe it's about you. Okay. Who are you? I'm into it. So I don't know how much time you have for love, but, um, your financial goals. Okay. Whatever it is, you guys, it looks like whatever you're focused on, it's getting you there. Okay. Now I kind of feel like the reason we're going so heavy into like the pinnacle stuff, which is work finances, your, your own self, you know, um, what you have going on. It's because I do think that this group is is heavily focused on that and we're less about spending our time um, giving it so freely, you know. Uh, maybe you guys came to the realization that you're not where you want to be or maybe that your focus is needed elsewhere. Um, but it does seem, so for some of you during Leo season, you're going to have chances to go out and reconnect and it's actually going to be very good for you like emotionally. Or maybe you've already... Um, I mean, we're already halfway through or over than more than halfway with um, Leo season. So some of you guys could also be holding back on the other side of that as well. On the other side of the coin, some of you guys could be holding back from from going out there, from connecting with people right now. Maybe you feel like you don't have the time or the patience or the energy. And so you're you're choosing to look ahead. I kind of feel like some of you are living in your own world right now or like, yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if I, we saw Hermit. Oh, you guys are, I've got a lot going on. So some of you guys might be using this goal or that maybe you're like having to work a lot. Maybe you're using it as kind of something to lean on. You know, I don't have to figure out this other stuff. 
I don't have energy for that. But what I can do is push myself in this other area. Uh, maybe you guys have too many responsibilities, too many tasks. Maybe you guys are always on the go. Yeah, this is heavy on the heavy on the work. <laughs> Three of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Listen, okay, let's say it's not work. Um, then you have a lot of people that want to hang out with you or collaborate with you, or at least one other person. And there's a lot of potential here to, this is like starting a company together. Like this is like little like side hustler shit or like entrepreneurial beginnings, you know, but there's a lot of like impulsivity and they're saying that, you know, that they're, it's like, there's an imbalance here. It's like, we're going too hard into it. Um, okay. So let's continue. Um, that was interesting. That was definitely not what I was expecting, but Hey, I hope that it made sense to you guys. Let me see if there's anything else here. Um, I did mention Leo season, but obviously Leo, and then we have Aquarius with that star card. Um, you guys get yourselves. If, if you're an artist or if you're, uh, you work for yourself or you're, you know, if you're looking for a way to grow, I really think that there's something here about you guys. Um, people want to watch or being seen or, um, you know, for some it's like creating content. I don't know. Um, all right. Okay. A little shining star. I'm into it. I think you guys are going to start to get like recognized or like recognition for some of you, either in your field or whatever that means from online to real life someone might recognize you. All right. My group number ones. Well, let's see what's the next chapter in your love life. <laughs> we keep talking about money. I'm going to have to change this to a career reading. Messages for my group number ones, please. What's next? What's the next chapter in their love life? What can my group number ones expect? What's next for them, please? What's their next chapter in their love life? What's going to be going on for them in their love life? What can we know? Can you tell us what's next for my group number ones? What's next for my group number ones in their love life? We have the sun in reverse. We have the knight of swords. Okay, something's going to be revealed to you. You're going to realize something. You're going to see your manifestation start to, okay, interesting. You're going to start to see some of the things that you've been feeling, working on, uh, manifesting, whatever you've been putting your focus on. You're going to start to see them come into fruition. And this is after a moment in time, or it's definitely after Leo season, <laughs> let's say that. But it's after a period of time where you started to feel maybe... Uh, let's say not so positive or not so optimistic anymore. Um, I keep hearing orange. So I don't know if someone is like listening to Frank Ocean or if that means something out of nowhere that came through. I literally, um, all of a sudden, all I see is orange. Um, maybe there's something about that color for someone. Um, okay, let's continue. What's up with the random side side notes for your reading my group number ones who is watching tell me about the sun in reverse please tell me about the knight of swords you guys are entering a sweet era okay listen the next chapter of your love life for some of you has to do with um you're gonna reconnect with a soulmate this is someone who you were either friends with in your childhood and you guys are going to, this person's going to come into your life when you need them to, or they're going to help you grow. You guys are going to grow together. Um, it's, it feels very sweet and it feels like you feel very connected to this energy. Um, now others of you, this is, um, going back to the work thing. This could be that your baby, your project is is uh taking off so again take that as a side note or maybe that's a whole last message for someone okay 
Now, for others of you, um, if you're dealing with a specific person or, I mean, I still see a person, there is someone here who is going to reveal something to you and they're going to approach you as a friend or they're going to want to start over with you or they're going to want to take things slow or catch up with you. There is this energy here of, I want to know about you. I want to get to know you. And I think it's mutual. So whether this is like a new bestie that's coming into your life or an old bestie you're reconnecting with, or if this is a lover, um, cause we're talking about love and love isn't just like romantic, you know, romantic love is almost like the cherry on top. Um, it's the rest of it that builds our foundation. And so it's going to be different for everyone. So again, just take the messages as they pertain to you. Now let's talk a little bit about, um, let me look at this eight of cups. Um, and I want to talk to those of you that this is a person that you are reconnecting with, that you were starting to, maybe you lost hope with, or you weren't really um, feeling the most positive. Tell me about the eight of cups with the four of cups in reverse. So someone here is going to open up to you. If this is someone from the past, this is someone that you've been thinking of a lot and they've been thinking about you and they are going to come towards you um, almost with this offering. It could be, you know what? I don't know. I don't think it's an apology. They could be for some of you if you're owed that. I'm not picking that up. I'm picking up that they're coming to you with vulnerability and they're coming to you with sincerity of I've missed you. Um, and they're being honest about it. This is someone that you tried to manifest or again, maybe it's just the power of thought because you've been thinking about them a lot. Um, and you're entering the next chapter in love for you is that you guys are disconnecting from whatever happened in the past where there was feelings of closed off, uh, holding on to grudges, um, being defensive, or feeling very defensive. It's like we're letting that go and we're realizing that holding on to that is no longer serving us. Maybe it was useful when we were having to protect ourselves or when we were in the old phase or the old chapter, but now we're deciding to move on and move forward. Okay, that's for that's messages for that's messages for everyone, but specifically for those of you that this is someone you're reconnecting with. Now, if this is um, talking about your work or your project, I see you guys being able to move forward and you're no longer kind of feeling, I think your confidence is up. So you're no longer feeling like defensive if people approach you or what they want from you, or there's an energy here of finally I can move forward and I made this happen. You're also taking a lot of pride in the fact that like I made this happen or like I possess these skills. So overall in general, I do see that the next chapter in love for all of you also is coming with an added boost to your confidence, which is ah, chef's kiss. <laughs> it is needed in our collective. Okay. I love this. We are ascending and it has been a um, gradual process. Okay. So um, let's see what else we have here. I feel like there's more here. Um, not going to lie, even though we kind of went through a lot already, but there is a lot that's coming forward. Um, now, for those of you that this is a friend, um, this doesn't have to be someone that you already know. There's a very good chance that it could be. This could even be like a, a family, a cousin, a niece, a nephew, someone that's younger. I don't know, um, because there seems to be an energy of I you're my dream. I want to learn from you. Or they like look up to you. You know, there's um, a feeling of, of uh, accomplishment. There, there's just something here um, that this energy um, has when, if it's coming towards you. And look how like this person is handing this, um, this kid a little cup with um, plants in it. So it's like they're growing, right? Things are growing. And then this person is handing a pentacle. I want to grow with you. So whoever this is feels like they already have seeds planted with you or they want to plant new seeds with you. They want to make things happen with you. All right. There's also an energy here if this is a friend. 
um, this, you guys, this could even come in the form of you're hiring an assistant and you're letting, letting go of control and you're letting them, and it's actually going to be really good for you. Um, this feels like if it is an assistant or if it is, um, someone that's learning from you or you're learning from them, it, it's the energy is right. You and this person, uh, you guys see each other. All right. Thank you, spirit. If this is someone that you already know who it is, or maybe there's been doubts, this is someone you're not talking to and you don't know what's going on with them. Or there's miscommunication between you guys. Yeah. This person, uh, there is an age difference. There's a there's an age difference. I would say mm, two to five years. Two to six years. 86. 89, 93, 97, 2004, 2013, 2014. Those might be important years for someone. Interesting. Um, yeah, you're not talking to them, but you're about to. You're about to hear from them. This person may not know if you still have the same info or number or, you know, that's not for everyone. Some may not be sure if you want to hear from them. Yeah, this is someone that you haven't talked to for a while. I don't even think you're paying attention to them or you, you've, I, I'm telling you from earlier, I felt like there's some kind of miscommunication. Someone didn't see someone's text or someone forgot, someone took too long. And then they're like, oh shit, I missed my chance. And then someone didn't, it's like after it was too long, their pride kept them from yeah, you're silent with this person. Okay, for some of you, there's silence on purpose. And it's been weighing on someone. So that's another indicator of who this is. This is. They're in their feels because they're like, but no, this, is, this was meant for me. I thought this was for me. And they're going through a lot of confusion. Gemini, Aries, Pisces. I mean, literally, it could be anybody. my group number ones all right well um i was like do, should we keep going and i was like oh i don't know that was kind of like a lot or at least it felt like a lot you guys will have to let me know um if that resonated so i was waiting to kind of pick what oracle cards we were going to use today until i kind of um, saw what messages what the messages were like so for you guys um oh shit you know what? I just dropped a card and I'm going to pick it up. It may be important. All right. That was, I'm going to leave it there for you guys. It wasn't even a deck I was going to use, but that says I can trust that this is an abundant universe. Again, there might be messages here for those positive career or project, something here. You're, you're doing good. You're doing good, sweetie. <laughs> Not me being your Kris Jenner. <laughs> All right. We have intuition, flow, look, love, and magic. Oh my gosh, you guys. What did I, uh, I love this so much, you guys. Ascension, change, love, feelings, you know, um, things are shifting for you. It's like, you've been through it. You know, you've been through the ringer. You've been through um, a lot, or you've been working very hard. But there, uh, there is someone coming into your life that is um, bringing relief. And I think that you're also, yeah, there's a lot of mutual energy between you guys. All right, let's see what the little carrots, the double carrots. So you and this person are a lot of like. From the, from the top, you may not be able to tell, but the root of things, you guys are very similar at the root of things. Um, very interesting. There's also roots here. Um, and I said seeds planted. Someone here wants to have roots with you. We have dandelions. There could be something here about pulling out the weeds. Also uh, making a wish. That's number 13 and number 10. We did say 2013 earlier, so maybe 13. We have number 44, the standing rabbit. Someone's been on guard or someone's been on the lookout. And we have number 31, the pen. Someone's been feeling trapped or like you, you're nowhere to be seen. I just saw snow. 
Um, something about the cold, maybe uh, the last time you saw them was in the winter. Um, yeah, maybe someone here feels like they've been put in a box or... All right, let's... Um, let me pull... Let me look... Oh, here they are. Let's pull some of these for some of you that this is a romantic partner or someone that you're reconnecting with. All right. They got mixed up. Here we go. All right. Let's get a couple more messages and then let's do initials for you guys too. Thank you, Spirit. Can we get two messages for my group number ones? The next chapter in their love life for those that are, that are going to be connecting to a person, to a romantic. Oh, shit. You guys, wedding rings, union, soul connection. <laughs> Everlasting promise. What in the what? You guys, maybe, yeah, I don't know. Maybe someone's, when did Frank Ocean come out? Wasn't that 2013? I don't know, you guys. There's something about that album that keeps coming through. All right, we have the sword and the rose, clarity, truth, revelation, honor, protection, and power. Okay, you're going to get clarity. And for some of you, you guys are, you're entering a chapter in your life that is part of your journey to possibly this union, this this getting married or this uh, building the stability. This could even be like 10 of Pentacles energy as well. Um, all right, let's get some initials. I was about to tap out because I got so razzle dazzled with these, with the newses that we just got, guys. You know, you guys watch enough of these, especially on this channel. <laughs> we have HR, not someone working for HR, possibly. Oh, I got a ding. Maybe someone does work for HR. I don't know if you guys heard that. We have X, Y, Z. So last hour, last minute, the last one you thought. Um, interesting, the last one. Okay, this is kind of funny. So H-O, I know it's not how you spell it, but H-O-R-E. We're just going to leave that there. All right, we have H-U, hut, something about home, uh, urban, uh, you are Urban, out Urban Outfitters, RT, right? LL, someone could have an LLC, someone could own their own business. Double initials, their name, your name, last name, first name. We have Cece, Alex, my ex, someone has an ex. You know, you. So, some of you might know. <laughs> I don't know. It could be someone's ex, but more than anything, I think some of you know their ex. Interesting. Um, all right. I think that's all. My group number one, that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you the next one. Thanks, guys. Hello, my group number twos. <laughs> if you picked this Betty bookmark, then welcome to your reading. I only, I almost said bookmark, which is actually kind of cute. Uh, my group number twos. Um, I did add some fresh roses to our table today. I looked over and I forgot that I bought them yesterday and I was like, perfect. Let's add more life, more sweetness, more love into our reading today, because we are going to be looking into what is the next chapter in your love life. We are going to begin this group by checking into your current energy and love, and that part should help you connect to this reading. And then we'll be moving into seeing what this next chapter in your love life is going to be about. Um, my group number two is super important that you use your own discernment. Take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. Um, take the messages as they pertain to your situation as well. I'll try to cover as many bases as possible, but you know. Friends, if you happen to get triggered or if you're listening to a story that already happened, it could just mean you're not in the same timeline as the other people that picked the group. Um, all right, my babies, thank you for joining me here today. Let's begin. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number twos. My group number twos, please, Spirit. My group number twos. What's their current energy in love? What's my group number two's current energy in love? Thank you, Spirit. What's going on with them? How will they know this is their reading? What can we know? What can you tell us? What's my group number one's energy in their love life? 
How will they know this is their reading? What can we know? What can you tell us? Messages for my group number twos, please. With the current energy in their love life. What's going on with them? What's going on with my group number twos? How will they know this is their reading? And the cards aren't wanting to shuffle as easy. <laughs> We'll see what's going on with that. Thank you, Spirit. What's going on with my group number twos? We have the six of wands in reverse, the six of pentacles. So maybe you just don't feel successful in love or you feel like you've given your attention or your energy to people that weren't reciprocating it. It feels like a lot of your energy or there's a lot here that was going outward and it maybe left you depleted or you didn't get the same in return. Maybe you felt like you, I, it feels like it's either paying attention or giving attention or yeah, I feel regardless of what it is though, you're hangman. It feels like you're just pulling back. Nothing's really changing. We have the nine of wands. Tell me about the six of wands in reverse. Yeah, you're frustrated. So this is a little bit of a caution for those of you that maybe haven't realized this like maybe you're you're over giving to people or to someone or to uh paying too much attention to one area of your life but it's i feel like it's affecting you i feel like it's depleting you because it is because it feels like you're not getting what you need out of it or what you want out of it why the four swords? For some, I'm not going to lie, don't get upset, but for some, you guys are feeling very almost like victimized by your love life or by the circumstances. Like, damn, I've been through it. I am tired, you know? And maybe right now it feels like there's, um, I don't know, guys, for some of you, this is coming up as a little bit of a, of a thing, of a, an awareness issue, perhaps. That some of you maybe haven't realized how you're spending your time, your energy, what you're spending it on, who you're spending it on, and what it's kind of doing to you to some degree. Um, or how it's affecting your emotions or how you view things. So right now it doesn't seem like things are really um, happening. Some of you guys might be like staying up really late or there's something here with your sleep or you're trying to invest your energy into things out like outside or connecting on the outside connecting with people by the hangman by the nine of wands so for those of you that have already like realized this maybe it's made you evaluate um what your priorities are and what you have going on maybe you're maybe you're even kind of for those of you that are feeling like you're reaching out more or you were making more attempts than maybe the people in your life, maybe right now you're in a phase where you're just pulling back and you're kind of waiting and seeing um, who you hear from or how often you hear from them or if they check in on you. Um, and some of you are starting to realize that there is actually a lot more peace than maybe you kind of thought because it seems like you're, you're holding back from drama or you don't want to invite conflict into your life. So there's a lot coming through though. It doesn't feel like there's too much physically happening it feels like there's a lot of thought or there's a lot of like what is this what is happening and so right now you're kind of, you're meant to sit in this hangman because it is going to bring a change in perspective or it's going to make you see things differently and it's going to bring a lot more balance into your life there's also a feeling of feeling impatient maybe you're growing impatient some of you guys might not like to be patient but it's almost like you might be kind of fighting yourself sometimes if you continue to kind of try to push and push and nothing's really kind of happening and maybe that's that's why you're hangman right now tell me about the nine of wands with the magician in reverse so maybe you feel like you've ex exalted your options maybe you feel like you've just been through a lot in relationships or with an emperor, you know, uh, for some of you, maybe it's almost like the feeling of, of having enough of like men or relationships. I say men, cause you know, um, a lot of you do date them. <laughs> Why we do it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, 
I'm just kidding, but you know what I mean. Um, and it feels like you just, uh, you're, there's uncertainty, you're unsure. Maybe some of you have been manipulated by people. It doesn't have to be a man. Um, anyone that's dominant, you know, anyone that, that comes in with this emperor, or maybe that's you and you are choosing to kind of close off and see where things go. And maybe you're focused on other things, but I don't know. There's too much energy here of overgiving. There's too much energy here of things not being reciprocated or things not being balanced. So it's going to be different for everyone. Um, now, for those of you that are currently dealing with someone, let's talk about that for a moment. Um, it's not going to apply to everyone. You know, it might apply to one or two of you, but there is something here about you kind of sitting back and watching, uh, watching what, what's going on here, because this emperor could love what they get from you or the energy that they get from you. But I don't know if they're reciprocating because it's ace of pentacles or ace. Interesting. I said ace of pentacles, ace of swords in reverse, the magician in reverse. This makes me feel there's manipulative energy. I've been manipulated. I've been manipulated into giving. So right now, um, you could be feeling, and I did just hear the term benched. You could feel like you're benched a little bit, you know, on the sidelines a little bit. And you're like, put me in coach. And the coach is the universe and coach is probably like, you know what? Um, you're not ready. You got to, you got to keep your eyes on the field. You got to watch some of these plays. You got to see, you, you got some, you got some things to realize here. You got some things to learn perhaps. Um, this is not almost like, it, this feels, it's not a time to, that anything kind of feels like it can get going or there's false starts or there's just like, it's a wet matchbook that you keep kind of trying to like. Um, yeah. And it's romance. Okay. So just be careful that you're not overgiving to anything at this time. Um, they want you to be reflecting. They want you to think about how these types or this person or this situation for some of you, this could even be work about how they're maybe taking advantage of you at the fact that they know how bad you want this to succeed or that you want this. And they're just like, oh, group two will take care of it. Or, you know, uh, maybe they're dangling a carrot. I don't know. But there's something here for you to kind of see, uh, regardless of what the circumstance is. Yeah, because there's avoidance here and there is a dangling of a carrot. Um, I just don't feel like right now it's been kind of the right time for you. Um, in love or with this person or maybe the balance in your life if someone knew where to come in this is the energy of i'm going to repeat my past pattern because i i haven't learned i didn't see it i'm actually gonna fall in love or be attracted to they smell good they look good oh they they just know what they want they seem so secure but they're going to manipulate me and i'm not going to see it because yeah i i haven't I haven't broken through yet. Now, for those of you that are like, no, I did. I see it. I know it. Then this might be the energy that you're just kind of clearing for now. You know, uh, maybe you're further ahead, but there's just everyone's at a different point of the journey. Yeah, you guys, I just saw I just saw Ace of Wands in reverse, uh, Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Knight of Cups upright, the lovers in reverse, what in, in the four of cups, what in the, I'm going to repeat a karmic cycle that I didn't see it before. Hopefully now I see it or I'm still not seeing it. All right. <laughs> Let's continue. Oh, my groove number twos. I needed a deep breath after that one. Well, if that sounds like something familiar to you, then let's see what's this next, what's the next chapter in your love life, my group number two. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. Messages for my group number twos. What's the next chapter in their love life? Now, if you feel like you're already kind of seeing the lessons and you know them, then it's all part of, like I said, it's like you're further along than maybe other people are. Um, cause there is a need here. Maybe in the past you felt like things weren't progressing or they're still not, you're still in hangman. Um, you know, I don't think the universe is trying to set you up 
with the wrong person on purpose, <laughs> you know, because there's almost an energy here. Of there's there's a little caution about the possibility of repeating repeating our own past patterns, even if it's a new person or a past pattern with an old person. It just depends on who you are. All right. Thank you, Spirit. What's next? What's the next chapter in my group number two's love life? What's the next chapter in my group number two's love life? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos. What's their next chapter in their love life? What's next for them? What can we know? What can you tell us? What's their next chapter in their love life? So your next chapter is, um, you guys, they're still uh, holding on to wounding. There's a holding on to the past of who you used to be or how um, someone something did or how you view how you view the past. We have the two of wands. You're you're looking in a new direction. Mm. Interesting. I say interesting because for some of you, you're looking, you're trying to look into the future, but you're referencing your past a lot. Tell me about the nine of wands. Tell me about the six of cups in reverse. You guys are working through this. What's their next chapter in love? Why the eight of cups in reverse? Why the two? So there, your next chapter has to do with you revisiting revis revisiting an old situation. This could be someone that you're making peace with, or even if it's just internal. And it's taking you a long time to process this and get through it. And part of that process is you having to either revisit, reconnect, stay in the same place. There's, there's something here that I feel you're learning. Maybe this is also even kind of, this is processing your own wounding and staying in situations that don't serve you or not seeing things and staying and overgiving. And you're so loving. You're so loving. Your angels are keeping you protected. It, 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 they don't want anyone to come in because you guys could attract a, a, a vampire, an energy vampire, someone that just wants to suckle on your sweet energy juice, like for real, for real. Not them poking you like a boba straw through the top and just slurping up your love and your energy. Because I feel like you guys may have been, uh, you know, fallen, fallen in that trap in the past. There's a lot of wounding here. And there's a lot of um, feeling of you trying to protect your heart. But there's something from the past in your next chapter in your love life is about you choosing what direction you want to go in and you growing and you evolving and you looking at things through kind of a different lens. There is an energy of someone, someone else here and there's some kind of choice. The choices stay in the past or start fresh or walk away. I mean, you know, there's a choice. Let's see what else. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. What's next in their love life? What's the next chapter in their love life? What's the next chapter in their love life? Why the Nine of Wands with the Queen of Cups? You feel blocked. Or there's been a lot of obstacles. Why the Six of Cups in reverse with the Knight of Pentacles? There's uncertainty here. There's like lack of hope or you're not sure what to do and you've kind of been sitting in this energy or something's been very slow to progress. Tell me about the Eight of Cups in reverse with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. There's some, there's some conflict or struggle 
and it comes and goes. It keeps you unmotivated though. It keeps you defensive and it keeps you kind of in this energy. And I, you know, I'm sure you have your reasons, but if this is something that you're struggling with and it hasn't really changed, there's almost like a difficult choice. I'm not going to lie. It almost feels like you're giving birth to your new self. And if you've ever given birth, you know, it's not, it's not the most comfortable feeling. <laughs> um, but it's, you're giving birth to a new life. And a part of you, you're reluctant to, you, you don't, maybe you, oh, you guys, I can't tell if you don't feel like you deserve this. Maybe you doubted that things are for you. There's a, there's a deep, there's something here that left a scar that you don't talk about that is trying to, the energy is trying to come through but it's so different for everyone, you know, it, but it is, but I know it's triggering and I know that it's, it's in the past and I know that it's kept you from being able to move forward. Now that scar could be emotional. It could be hopefully not physical, but you know, you never know. Um, there's some kind of conflict or some kind of tension here and it makes you just feel like this is just how it is, or this is, uh, yeah, I don't know. This Knight of Wands in reverse and this Five of Wands makes me feel like something really just unmotivates us to want to create change or to want to deal with it because maybe the feelings that come up, there's so much conflict or there might even be anger. And it doesn't feel like you're a person that that is, um, you want to be soft. You want to be in your soft era. You want to be loved. You want to feel safe. You want to feel secure. And the next chapter in your love life is about heading in that direction. But the choice the choice is going to require certain things of you. And it feels like there's a challenge in feeling hopeful to step up to that challenge or the plate. And this could even be that you do have someone that comes in and it's your choice to work emotionally on this because you might get triggered and go back to how you used to act when you were Miss Toxica or Mr. Toxico back in, you know, the year of our Lord, 2018, or however long it's been, or maybe even last year or 10 years ago, or whatever it is. You know, there's something here that you're like, it's not for me, or it's, you know, it's not possible, but it's your own digging that is uncomfortable and that hurts. But they're saying you can get through this, um, you can do it, but it's up to you. It's up to you to let go of the past, what didn't work out, and move towards this Empress energy. Let's see this King of Cups and this Hermit in reverse, because for some of you, this is someone coming into your life, uh, maybe towards the end of Virgo season into Scorpio season, or this is uh, someone that's reconnecting with you, or someone who has shown you support. Or is someone you're emotionally already connected to? There's mutual love here, but you guys are turning your backs on each other right now. Tell me about the King of Cups and the Hermit in reverse. What's the next chapter in their love life? Interesting. There's going to be an unexpected event. One more. What's the... Yeah, it's Scorpio. It might be a Scorpio. Someone, so there's a, there's a, there's an unexpected, there's a big unexpected change coming to your love life. If, if you want it, if you're open to it, it's going to require you to open up. It's going to require you to let go of something. It's going to require you to. I was going to say demand, but no, the Empress doesn't demand. It's like her, she just knows her value. And you're not showing up in this energy of this, this, uh, why did I almost say matron of pentacles? <laughs> what the fuck? Queen of pentacles in reverse. It's not that, you know? Okay, um, 
super side note, short reading for those of you that this is, you're with a partner and you guys experienced a pregnancy loss. I'm really sorry. My heart goes out to you. Um, or there's fears here over parenthood or over uh, your ability to um, raise a child because of trauma that you went through. I want to tell you, you are not your parents and your future isn't dictated by your past. Uh, let your past help you become better. And I promise you, you are not going to parent like your parents did if that's a concern of yours. Okay. I see you guys growing into beautiful parenthood and I see this being possible for you, but there's this bittersweet feeling of leaving something behind. And for some of you, it could be uh, if there was a loss, it could be that now that you might be, it's a possibility for you again, or you guys, you know, um, cause there's fertile energy here. And that's why I say it, like, say, you know, you do get pregnant again, there might be bittersweet feelings or fear, or you're referencing everything to the last time and not saying that it's impossible, you know, that I don't get it or that, uh, you know, that it's totally normal to do that, but just almost like keep aware of that because there's a choice you can make and it's going to, it's going to allow you to connect and to grow. Um, but it, it is uncomfortable because you're required like vulnerability. Uh, you're required to shift and change. It's almost like snakes shedding its skin. And it feels like if this does happen, it's very unexpected. It's not when we planned it, we didn't plan this. It just happened. And now it's up to you and this person or, or just you to run with it and be free and free yourselves. But your the confidence or the fears, the triggering is kind of what's stopping you. Um, okay. Let's see if there's anything else. Wow. Heavy Scorpio. We have Virgo, Libra, Taurus. We have all signs showing up. Aquarius. I was just reading the majors. My group number twos. Lots of messages that took a turn. All right. Um, I was waiting to see what Oracle cards to use, depending on what kind of messages came through. So let's just pull from a couple decks. All right. We're also going to do initials. Thank you, spirit messages for my group number twos, please. Oh, I did see anger. Look how, um, frustration, trust, and stop are all in reverse. So those are the challenges here. You're lacking trust, maybe in frustration feeling like things aren't going to work out. There's that anger. Then we have stop. What comes after stop? Thank you, spirit. They're asking you to trust protection. You are protected. I kept feeling that you're, you're, you're protected. They want you to find peace, make peace, peace with the pain, make peace with the past pain. You don't want to continue to carry it with you. It's too heavy. All right. Erica Badu, Bag Lady coming through. I love that song. The radio edit. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Number 16. Fence with a hole. So you might feel like you're fenced in, but there's actually a way to get out. We have number 54, the wolf. So lone wolf. You could be feeling alone or like... Um, you've, you've always been on your own. You've always had to because of your childhood. Maybe you had to escape. There was escapism. Maybe there's a healing of your nervous system that's happening. That's trying to, it's hard to go from survivor mode to what's the opposite of survival. <laughs> what's the opposite of survival. Let me know. Cause I haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> Oh, it's the trauma that makes me funny. We have number 32, the rabbit feet. And then we have number 18, the fragrant field. All right, so the rabbit feet make me feel of running. Um, running, maybe it's easier to run or to not face emotional situations because it's more uncomfortable. Maybe you feel like someone else was running. This also makes me think of a lucky rabbit's foot, though. Um, so a stroke of good luck. Then we have number 18, the fragrant field. So, um, oh, interesting. I actually never picked it up on that, which is kind of funny because it's literally in the name, but maybe there's certain smells that are coming to you or that are hitting you a little bit differently. Um, maybe there's something about springtime 
when flowers bloom. There could also be something about your perfume or someone's perfume. Maybe you got whiffs of like a past loved one's um, smell. That That's a sign from them. All right, for those of you that this is a person that is coming in with that King of Cups and that reconnecting, let's see what you need to know about that connection. Thank you, Spirit. What can we know? What can you tell my group number two? Sunglasses. This is someone who hid their feelings, but they're keeping an eye and keys on a ring. Decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. The Grim Reaper. Grow and transform your life. This also says the relationship is over and no second chances. So this could be you moving on from something in the past. This could be someone that, um, this says watching, looking, deception. This could be what you're healing, friends. All right, let's get you guys some initials. Thank you, Spirit. If the new person is giving you any kind of vibes, don't, um, don't ignore the red flags. All right, we have WTC. I see witch, Wichita, maybe someone works in radio or something like that. That makes me think of like the radio station letters, the names. <laughs> we have WFPN Park Lane, something about where they live. LN, Lenny, Len. Z, three W's, something about online. HK, Hello Kitty, <laughs> Hong Kong as well. Lynn, PF. All right. I hope you guys can see those. I don't know if that's too low. Let me move those right there. My group number twos, that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you at the next one. And thanks, guys. Hello, my group number threes. If you picked this Betty bookmark, <laughs> then welcome to your reading, friends. I had to slow down on that word because I've been saying bookmark, um, which is cute, but you know. Uh, my group number threes, thank you for joining me here today, friends. We are going to be looking into what's next in what's the next chapter in your love life. Um, I did bring in some fresh roses for our reading. Um, I wanted to add some, you know, some sweetness and some more love into this session today. And so we are going to begin by checking into your current energy in love and seeing what's going on with you. This part of the reading should help you connect to this group. And then we're going to be um, looking into what's the next chapter in your love life. My group number threes, it's super important for you guys to use your own discernment um, and also take the messages as they apply to you and your situation. Um, all right, let's get to it. Let's see. Group one and twos definitely had some surprises. So my group number threes never fails. Let's see what we're going to get into today, friends. Thank you for joining me here, my babies. And thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number threes. My group number threes, please. What is my group number threes current energy in love? How will they know this reading is for them? What can we know? What can you tell us? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. What's the current energy and love? What can we know? What can you tell us? Messages for my group number threes, please. Messages for my group number threes. What's their current energy in love? How will they know this is their reading? How will my group number threes know this is their reading? Thank you, Spirit. What's their current energy in love? What's going on for them? you're like love <laughs> i'm not worried about that i'm not gonna lose sleep over that all right we have strong leo energy we have all fixed signs coming through taurus scorpio and aquarius what's going on yeah i feel like you're just taking a break you're like i am literally not losing sleep i am not missing anything out in those streets <laughs> i think you're in your self-love self-care era should we put the no, let's put that here. Okay. So this is the energy of what's for me is for me, and I'm not going to stress about it right now. I feel like you guys have focused on healing. Tell me about the strength in reverse. 
yeah, you've left people behind, things behind, old ideas, old things that were no longer for you, and you, you're feeling like you're in alignment. We have the world in reverse with the Seven of Swords. Why the Four of Swords? So you might be frustrated with things, but you're also like, I'm good. I'm chill. I, I prefer my peace. You know what? And it's also like you choosing peace over going out there and dealing with people you don't trust or um, a specific past energy you don't trust or knowing that, you know, um, things aren't necessarily like figured out. But at the same time, like right now, you're choosing not to worry about that. Now, for some of you, maybe there is an open ended situation that you are dealing with. And maybe you're hiding the fact that it's still kind of there. It's still something that maybe you think about or you feel. But honestly, I don't really see you being too bothered by it, considering everything else that's surrounding it. Now, this Queen of Wands in reverse, I do feel like you are frustrated to some degree. Some of you guys, it could be sexual frustrated. It's fine. Um, but maybe there's also like anger that's coming through over how you love people or what you have to give or how you feel and maybe your past experiences, the Seven of Swords, the Queen of Wands. Maybe there's also like, you know, we all have moments where we're like surrendered and we're like, yes, things are flowing. What is for me will be for me. It won't pass me by. And then there's moments of a, uh, but will it though? <laughs> but will it? And that's okay. <laughs> we're human. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number three. So what's their current energy in love? The temperance in reverse. Yeah, I just think you have your moments. Now, I can't tell. Uh, I was going to say, I can't tell if you guys are dealing with someone. Because I have a King of Cups at the bottom of the deck, and we have the Queen of Cups. Or if you just think of your future lover, the one that you guys are going to be in love with each other. You're like, I left everything I was supposed to leave in the past. I, you know, I did it. Um, I'm no longer holding myself back, but at the same time, there's this energy of when is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? Why the temperance in reverse? Why the temperance in reverse? Wheel of fortune in reverse. And this king of cups keeps trying to show up. Maybe someone keeps trying or... I don't know. Maybe there's someone already in your energy or you're just maybe the repeatedness of getting frustrated and trusting and then going back and forth. I'm not sure what's going on, but we'll just leave that there. Let's see what the seven of swords is with the world in reverse. Why the seven of swords with the world in reverse? What's going on here? What's going on with my group number threes? So maybe you already know, like, oh, this could be the person that you feel is meant for you, whether it's a mythical person in your mind for now, like we're manifesting this, the partner that we want and that we deserve, or if it's a specific person, someone that you already know, someone that you're already connected to, and you're trying to trust in this process, and you're trying not to worry. But again, there's this energy of, oh, but will it, you know, as much as you feel connected, there's this pool of like things haven't progressed, nothing has changed, and it kind of gets to you sometimes. In your heart or your mind, your spirit, your higher self, it's like there's this energy here where you're like, no, but I know, I know that I'm meant for this relationship, or I know this relationship's meant for me, or I know who this is, or I know the 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 type that I want, you know. But with that seven of swords, it tells me like maybe you're questioning but is it or maybe you're hiding the fact that you already know who your partner is you have a hard time trusting it because they're not here yet or because things aren't working out between you guys or you guys aren't together maybe you guys have to hide it because of work maybe you guys work together or you hide it from people around it's like we're not letting it be known what my heart knows is true even if sometimes you question your own little heart. <laughs> All right. So I do feel like you're finding peace right now. You're trying to rest. You're staying drama free. 
which is good. Yeah, five of swords in reverse, five of wands in reverse. Let's see, why are you frustrated? Why the queen of wands in reverse with the queen of cups? Uncertainty. Because you don't know if your manifestations are working for love or this new love or reconciling or meeting this person. Okay. If it's a person, you may not be talking to them or you may just not be talking to anyone. Yeah, you're staying quiet. Some of you guys are dreaming of your soulmate or your, oh, I just said soulmate. Interesting. Uh, not interesting, but you know, I always say interesting when it comes out of nowhere. Um, you could be dreaming of this partner that, that you're going to be with or that you're meant to be with. Um, but there's, there's some doubt. Low key, there's some doubt, but on the outside, you're like, I'm good. I, I'm, I'm good. I mean, you are good, friends. Just some little kinks to work through while our, while our love life falls into place is what it feels like, group three. All right, my group threes, if that sounds kind of like you and where things are at for you, then let's see what this next chapter in your love life is about. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. Messages for my group number threes. What can we know about this next chapter in, of their love life? What's the next chapter in their love life? Thank you, Spirit. What can we know? What can you tell us? What's next for my group number threes? What's their next? What's this next chapter in their love life about? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. What can we know about this next chapter in their love life? What can we know about this next chapter in their love life? Thank you, Spirit. One more. What can we know? Messages from my group number threes. What's the next chapter in their love life? All right, we have the nine of pentacles in reverse. We have the six of swords have the seven of swords why does that seven of swords keep coming up interesting we have the wheel of fortune in reverse what's the next chapter in my group number three's love life why the nine of pentacles in reverse what's the next chapter in their love life why the six of swords So I feel like you guys are at uh, the next chapter. There's, I don't know, guys, there, there's some kind of difficulty. Someone's repeating something here. I can't tell. Oh, I can't tell if you're seeing someone again or you're seeing someone who has some of the same like traits as someone you've dealt with in the past because their job might be similar to someone you did it in the past the the look or the style uh they're not this it doesn't mean they're the same person but for some it is for some it is whatever it is though you have this connection to them like you do feel it it's in your heart but you're either not trusting them or you're hiding this from others because this next chapter in your love life there's an ending here but that ten of cups tells me that you're like happy so there's some kind of transformation let's keep digging you're gonna have a spark with someone who isn't the most available they work a lot they their schedule there might be something about their schedule or this might be someone that you work with and that's why you're not showing it or, you, or you're you're being seven someone's being seven of swords we're going to dig in more in a little bit you're going to have a passionate spark you're going to have the opportunity to connect with someone but they're not in a place I don't, I don't know if it's not that, in, that they're not in a place to be able to like commit or give too much or there's something here that they have going on. Um, whatever it is though, yeah, you're happy about it. 
you're you're happy that you're moving forward or things are moving forward or things feel better i there's an overall sense of things are feeling better but you're not either believing it or you're not trusting it or you're you're not letting too many people know it's like you're you're kind of keeping this to yourself you're 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 maybe there's even like a denying here these feelings that we have because it does feel like this does feel like soulmate energy with that six of cups. And for some of you, this is talking about reunion. Take it how it resonates. It doesn't have to be, you know, if that doesn't apply to you. Um, why the seven of swords with the six of cups? Why the seven of swords with the six of cups? It's like we're lying that we're on a break. Someone's been dreaming here. Your dreams might even reveal something to you. Interesting. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune in reverse with the Emperor. What's the next chapter? You guys, someone here is sending you something, giving you something, showing you something, and it's their love language. It's like they're they're doing it again or they're entering your life again. And if it's not that, it's uh, you're about to experience something, but it doesn't feel like it's the first time for some of you. Maybe this even means that this is a past life partner. This could have been your, your wife or your husband or your person, um, in a past life. You guys know, I don't really tap into those energies too much when I have, it kind of freaks me out. <laughs> um, something's going to be revealed to you and it's going to make you happy. I want to see more on this King of Pentacles in reverse because this tells me that someone here has to prioritize other things. Maybe it's work. I think it's work, you guys. There's something about this person's work or schedule. You know what? Some of them could work like overnight shifts or three days in a row. Maybe they're like a firefighter or something that like healthcare or something that requires them to be there. Or I don't know. Maybe they work in another country or with another country. So they have to communicate with them. I don't know, something like that. Those are side messages. Tell me about the death card and the 10 of cups. What? Death with the devil. So Capricorn and Scorpio energy. Someone here is in a karmic, someone here is in a karmic connection and they could have kids. That's not for everyone. For some, it's like someone here might self-sabotage. There's an opportunity here they're not going for. Or there's... Uh, I was not expecting that devil and that ace of pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> My throat's even closing up. Tell me about the death card, the devil, and the ace of pentacles in reverse. It's ten of cups. Help me understand what else is trying to come through. Thank you, spirit. Someone wants to move things forward with you. This could be that they're a workaholic and that they are, I, I don't know if this person is going to like prioritize spending time with you. I do know that this is a beginning. I do know that I believe, you know, the reason why it, but it feels like this isn't some, it feels like you have a hard time trusting this person. Maybe it's because of who they are or what they do for a living or it leaves them room to kind of, you know, roam the streets. I don't know, but there's something here though. It's going to make you happy and you're going to want to move things forward. Or you're going to be excited to, that things are moving forward. Yeah. You're going to be happy. You're, you're happy about the progress, but I am getting, uh, a flag here. It's an orange flag. Let's see what it is. Um, tell me about this King of Pentacles in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. 
messages for my group number threes. What do they need to know about that? Oh, shit. It's like an incoming message. But this person, like, you message them and they won't reply. Or, like, they'll ignore. There, It feels like out of nowhere, too, when you least expect it. Like, you're going to be bored. You're going to be sitting there. And then they're going to message you. And if it's not that, then this is someone that you encounter pretty quickly. And it's like they catch your attention. They definitely catch your attention. Tell me about the Six of Swords with the Sun. No, this is a, this, this, you've been wanting this. Yeah, you, you've been wanting to reconnect with this person. You maybe have been hiding the fact that um, this is for those of you that are reconnecting. Now, you can also replace the word reconnecting with getting back out there if this is a brand new person because you're excited, you know, you're, you're definitely excited. And for those of you that know who this is, during this time of being apart, it's almost like we're hiding the fact that we're missing each other or we're missing them. There could have been some kind of ending between you guys. Now, for those of you that it's a brand new person, maybe you're just hiding the fact that, you know, you are kind of ready to date or you're looking for love or you're uh, manifesting your soulmate. I do think some of you are trying to manifest this specific person and you're about to have some kind of the next chapter in your love life is about you moving through. There's some kind of advancement or there's some kind of movement forward with this person, but there is a big block and it has to do with a karmic energy that's keeping them from being able to move forward. That could be their own pattern. That could be triggering your pattern as well. Or that could be an addiction that they have, or it could be a karmic relationship uh, from the past that they are still connected to. Um, and for some, of course, we can't skirt around the issue that this could be your karmic, um, something that's meant to teach you lessons. But um, yeah, take it how it applies to you. What can we know about this person, please? What does my group members really need to know about this person? They're going to reveal to you that they've been thinking about you or they're already watching you at a distance. They could be messaging you while traveling or at a distance. What else, please? What did my group number three need to know about this person? Eight of Pentacles, the lovers reverse. So... They could be focusing on work or focusing on something else that they're working on. Yeah. This person is by any means necessary when they have their mind set on something. And that includes like if they want to enter your life. This person, how they look is very important to them or their success. recognition this person might get attention as well aquarius sagittarius they could be impulsive but it feels like they're coming straight towards you yeah you guys you, uh, i can't tell but i i can't shake the feeling that this person is a walking orange flag um, I didn't pull, <laughs> I didn't go as in depth with the questions as I did with you in your reading, but, um, the next chapter in your love life involves this person, um, to some degree. I didn't do this for the other groups, but let's get you guys some advice for the next chapter in your love life. Thank you, Spirit. Can we get a few, few cards for advice for my group number three when dealing with this person? Messages for my group number threes, please. Can we get some advice for when they deal with this person? Thank you, Spirit. What is it that they need to know? Messages for my group number threes, please. What do they need to know when dealing with this person? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes. What do they need to know about dealing with this person? They want to come in and heal things, but they're either not being up front or there's... Yeah, this person might be a little like, 
I don't know if it's shallow or immature or the things that they say might bother you. I don't know for some of you, maybe you don't like their like sense of humor. Tell me about the star card. Or maybe you just feel like they're still immature and they make it hard to like why the page of wands you got to be careful this person's coming in foolishly yeah it's what you want but it's not going to give you what you want they want you to reflect they want you to really think about why do you want to get together with this person? This is for those of you that you already know who this is. This doesn't apply to everyone. But if you know you have some patterns to work through, this person is this person is showing up as a the devil. They're going to look good. They're going to smell good. They're going to be so alluring. You're going to want them. Um, but just they want you to be mindful. You know, it's not saying uh, it's a no. It's just saying, like, don't let yourself get swept away at the thought of this. Like, let them show you who they are. Let them show you if they're willing to put in the work, because this could be someone that comes in and like love bombs. And then things don't move forward, you know. So the next chapter in your love life is about you seeing things for what they are. And there is a karmic energy here that you are required to break. You know this. This, conver this person doesn't like to have like straightforward conversations or when you try to talk to them about commitment or about what their intentions are, they skirt around the issue, they dilly-dally, they might, you know, whip around their wand trying to distract you. It sounds funny, but let's be for real. People like to razzle dazzle us when they don't want us to see who they are. And you and I feel like you've been through a lot to let yourself get swept away by someone that just wants your attention. You deserve to know more. All right, this person knows what to say. And you know, if this is your person that you know you're meant to be with, this next stage or this next chapter in your love life, they're going to do something that is going to get you guys to connect and you're going to move forward, but then they're going to fall back into some kind of pattern and it's going to be up to you. Um, it's going to be up to you how you proceed with that. And if you're, you're already repeating a pattern of, well, we've been no contact or, you know, and you find yourself missing them, babe, just remember it's Mercury retrograde. We be missing people. <laughs> and second of all, are you ovulating for those of you that do? Because our hormones be playing some tricks on us. All right, babes, let's see. Let's get you some Oracle cards. I was waiting to see what kind of messages came out in your reading before selecting um, what to use. Wow. Look at determination. This person's going to be determined or they're going to show you like initiative. Um, there's pain, there's anger, and there's stop and peace. So stop and think about your peace. Um, you know, maybe you are frustrated and maybe, you know, everyone wants someone to lay on top of them sometimes. I mean, depending on your age and stage, but is it worth it? You know, um, there's a need here to recognize some patterns to be able to break through. All right. Thank you, Spirit. But like I said, I, I, you're going to be happy when you connect with this person. I know you are, and there's nothing wrong with it, but just don't fall into it. If you decide you want to taste, then know that that taste is like the forbidden apple. Uh, make the conscious decision. Don't make the decision. And then I hate to say it, but I'm, you know, then feel like a victim after, um, cause we'd be doing it to ourselves sometimes. All right. We have number 25, the lawnmower. I love that cutting down the grass. Um, maybe there's too many weeds in, in your lawn as well lawnmower. I feel like shaving things down. Number 25, number 38. What does that say? The rolling, oh, the rolling rabbit. Uh, bunnies do that when they're happy and they're playful, you know, and it also takes like vulnerability and them feeling safe in order to do that. Um, 
again, there could be something about this person's sense of humor. Maybe it's a little immature. Maybe there's something about their laugh or your laugh. Um, I think they're going to say something that maybe they think is funny. And you're just like, what? That wasn't funny. Uh, we have number 45, the stone wall. So this person has a stone wall or it feels like the situation maybe has hit a stone wall. Um, and then we have number three, badger. So I, after the other day when I pulled this, I was like, I don't know what badgers do. And then it would, popped up on a TV show that I was watching. I forgot what it was. Oh, no, wait, it wasn't a TV show. I watched a Despicable Me uh, 4, the newest one. And they stole a badger and the badger's like super mean until you like kind of break it down or you gave it snacks and then it was like the most loving thing. So that's how this person or this situation could be is that maybe you know this is your person, but they are not there yet, my friends. Uh, they are not. If this is the person that you know is your soulmate, um, don't enable a, a pattern for them because it keeps them it's like it lets them know it's okay you know don't be letting people think it's okay to do certain things and treat you a certain way because once you let them know it's okay babe they're just going to keep doing it and pushing and pushing and pushing two cards for my group number threes please thank you spirit we have paradise Paradise, happiness, expansion, joy. So you're going to be very happy, very happy when this person pops up. We have the chaser. They want you to chase them. And we have not enough. Frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, and ego coming through. Okay. Let's get you guys some initials. Thank you, spirit. All right, we have the three W's again. I say again, because another group got those. Um, someone could have an online shop. We have, uh, we have G-U-N, I won't say the word, but if you're in America, maybe this some that means something to you. We have M-N, we also have, I see New Mexico. I see gum, someone could be chewing gum. We have J-D-V-F. We have never mind. Maybe that's what you're saying now. We have four of the same letters. So your guys' names could be similar or have similar letters. We have FR for real. CH channel. You guys could be on a different channel than this person. You guys could be ascending and this person just isn't. We also have French. We have MF, Monday through Friday. We have Nevada, NV. Let's see what else. I think that's it. My group number threes, that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you the next one. Thanks guys.